tears from the darkness. Breadcrumbs Timothy just moved into his very first apartment. He was very ecstatic. No more having to sneak into his parents' house when he was out late. He could watch television as loud as he wanted, at least till 10 at night. No matter, it was his own space. One night, while Timothy was fast asleep, a loud clash awoke him. The sound of glass shattering echoed from the kitchen. As he ran in, letting out a shriek of pain, a piece of glass cut the bottom of his foot. Blood began to drip. He rushed to the bathroom to clean it up. The next day, Timothy came home from the doctor's to get his wounded heel stitched, stumbling in on a pair of crutches. He hobbled over to the couch, crashing down immediately. As Timothy reached over to the coffee table to grab the remote, he noticed a speck of breadcrumbs spread across the bottom of the television stand. What the? He uttered under his breath. He got up best he could, and hobbled over to where the breadcrumbs were. Timothy slid down onto his knees and inspected the crumbs. Mice? He thought to himself, examining the crumbs closer. Timothy placed a couple of traps around the kitchen, setting pieces of cheese in each one of the traps. Later that night, Timothy had awakened to a loud bang. He reached over to his nightstand to grab a flashlight. He hobbled on one crutch through the hallway, shaking uncontrollably flashing the light on every little thing he saw. As he made his way to the kitchen, Timothy couldn't help but get an eerie feeling. He couldn't quite put his finger on it, but something wasn't right. He flipped the lights on and leapt into the kitchen, acting as though he would catch a thief red-handed. Nothing was there. Timothy was relieved, yet he couldn't shake that eerie feeling. Timothy inspected the room, but no one was there. He made his way to the corner, and there it was again. Breadcrumbs. And the cheese was gone. What kind of rat is this? Timothy thought to himself, inspecting the trap looking for anything. The next day, Timothy decided to take it up a notch. He installed a night vision camera to capture what was going on at night. Although all signs pointed to a rat, still, something was off. Something weird. The following day, he dashed to the kitchen as quick as he could to check the traps. Same thing. She's gone. Crumbs left on the floor. Timothy snatched the cam off the wall. This time he would get to the bottom of this. He sat down as fast as he could, pulling out a cord to hook the cam into a laptop set on the coffee table in front of him as fast as he could. His face was practically pressed up against the computer screen as his anticipation had elevated his excitement. After a few minutes, Timothy fast forwarded through unimportant stuff, him making breakfast and enjoying a cup of coffee. Nothing had come about. Just when Timothy was going to turn the video off, a flicker of movement caught his attention. The cabinet door began to open, but not very much. The mouse was struggling to open the door, it seemed. Timothy was excited. He was just seconds away from catching the little rat. Finally, the door swung open. Timothy was taken back. Everything was still. He waited anxiously for the critter, but nothing had come out. A dark shadow began to move from inside the cabinet. Suddenly, a young girl crawled out from the cabinet. She moved slowly, almost snake-like. The little girl stood tall. Other than the fact that she climbed out of the cabinet, nothing else was alarming about her. She had long dark hair, a single peach-colored clip to tie her hair back, a long flowy eggshell-colored dress, untouched not even a single wrinkle. She was like something out of a dream. Timothy's eyes widened as he watched this little girl eat everything she could get her fingers on. 
He sped up the footage, and he watched the little girl continue to run through the kitchen. But something was off. She was comfortable. No hesitation. No worries. Nothing. It was then. She stopped what she was doing and looked dead straight into the camera without even so much as a blink. Timothy's heart raced into his throat. He began to hyperventilate as chills crept down his spine. He slammed a key to pause the footage. The look in her eyes was frightening. No emotion. No soul. Timothy clicked out of the window and unplugged everything as quick as possible, slamming his laptop shut. He took a moment to catch his breath. He counted back from 10 slowly, uttering the numbers as he inhaled and exhaled. His breathing had calmed a bit, and he was feeling better. Do you think I'm pretty? Soon after, Timothy's body lied lifeless on the floor below as a cabinet door shut close in the distance. The end.